Welcome to the first trail playbook guide video of the Saw Pit Trail in Soquel Demonstration State Forest located in the California Santa Cruz Mountains. There are three sections of this video outlining the trail in one, the ridge traverse, mixing up and down with a downhill techie finish that is the crux of the trail, two, a short climb, and three, a descent into the all new Saw Pit reroute. Diving right into the trailhead for the ridge traverse. Kind of picking up some speed here and this nice mix of up and down with some sloping S turns. It's worth mentioning on this trail there are quite a few sharp 90 degree turns. Those are annotated with arrows in the top corner and here comes that first hard right turn. Rolling into a plank jump on the left, a video pop out will show hitting that feature. Got a nice, sweeping, fun, mostly downhill section over right here. Got that mix of up and down as we traverse the ridge. Little jump here through two trees that'll save you a second or two and some efficiency and some fun into a hard right turn. Coming up on three trail features, you can queue up with this green trail sign, a log jump on the right, a long log jump on the left, and a quick jump, and a little hard left turn. So these logs queue up some punchy uphill, some foliage to the side of the trail, some time to pedal, 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 as you're looking along the top of this bridge. Do a nest turn through the trees with a hard right turn and a trail feature off to the right. A few fun, fast S turns right here into some more pedal, pedal, pedal. Picking up some speed here, where the trail looks tight, but it's only foliage and the line is pretty straightforward. Coming into a log jump, it's almost a plank on the left keeping speed up through the trees. There is this feature on the left, but it resembles more a stack of logs and actually a fun jump. Those logs are a great cue for when the trail gets pretty ripping fast. As you shoot through these S turns. see this log stacked along the trail there's a hard left turn and continuing along this fast ripping descent coming in this up and down through here as you're pedaling through it gets tighter a little bit keep in mind there are two hard left turns starting here continue to descend along this ridge. And then a really hard left. The approach to the crux continues downhill with this right hand sloping turn. 
into a downhill straightaway with good visibility into the technical portion of the saw pit tray. So breaking down the tech finish to the ridge section, starting with this off camber Rudy bit. There are two main lines here before you are pushed to the low side loose dirt and off the trail to the far right. This video shows the far left line crossing before the tree in the middle. This goes down some armored up rocks, stays high in the trail, and there's good control in the run out and setup for the upcoming section will be covered in a moment. Alternatively, there is an off camber straight line down the middle of the trail that is recommended taken at speed and annotated in black for advanced. Next up is another steep with a rocky exit. This video shows staying right in a groove and then over the rocks at the exit. This is pretty straightforward and is thus annotated in blue. The techie section finishes with a two plus foot drop straight into some roots and rocks followed by a loose S turn. This video shows rolling down, but a bit more speed dropping down will help clear this last feature with ease. Back to the video showing that left line run out, coming into the second part, yep. that far right line, and then over the rocks. Picking up some speed for the third part, and here I slow down, but again, easy to jump. Into those tight loose S turns. And that wraps up the ridge part of the trail. These flags signify the climb, which will let you know you're alive and make you thankful if you have eagle or a small chain ring. It takes a couple minutes. And this starts the rest of saw pit, which is almost exclusively gravity. Looks like the initial part descending here to a trail feature on the right. trail begins to transition into the all new socket trail. There is a small log jump off to the left. And off to the right is a log jump that enables you to skip a tight turn that is recommended by, as please. this is Thank for you. efficiency and speed and of course time. The trail here is loose and fast, yeah. dancing around a logging area. Trail becomes off camber here for an extended period of time and a jump that can be doubled. Thank you. With the sound of a chainsaw in the background, the trail transitions from loose rake soil into compacted bench cut. And a feature that can be doubled with a jump off to the left. Coming into the final few minutes of the trail, it's tight, bench cut, but fast, really packed down soil. Some ups and some downs, lots of opportunities to pedal and keep the speed up.
This is the Can first of several please? bridge crossings. All have a good line of sight and also a straight line Thank you. across. It is worth pointing out that the all new saw pit reroute is up and down. Here's a really nice place to pedal, 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 coming into the final sections of the trail. Second and third plank bridges here with that great line of sight and straight forward. <laughs> a fourth bridge with a rather ornate railing. The road crossing after the bridge signifies the closing moments of the trail with two hard left turns and a little bit of dancing through the trees. So the first hard left turn downhill into a rock garden, followed by another hard left turn, popping through some trees with the final plank bridge. Again, well built straight forward into the end of the socket trail. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and this may be helpful in your journey to be a better trail rider. And if you like, please hit subscribe.